In this equation, we have aluminum plus sodium hydroxide plus water, and they'll react to give us these products here. To balance it, let's count the atoms up on each side. We have one aluminum, one sodium, one oxygen, and we have an oxygen here with water. So let's make sure we count that. That gives us two of those. And hydrogens, we have one of those. And next, we have the two with the water. So now we have three hydrogen atoms. On the product side, we have one aluminum and one sodium. We have two oxygens and two hydrogens. So everything's the same except the hydrogens. And if I have an odd number, I'd like to get that to an even number so then I can balance it on this side. So I could put a two in front of the sodium hydroxide, the NaOH. So let's update these hydrogens now. We have one times two plus the two in the water. So now we have four of those. That's an even number. We need to update the oxygens as well because this two applies to everything. We have one times two plus the one in the water here. That gives us three of those. And sodium, one times two. That'll give us two sodium atoms. Let's see. Let's balance the sodium and then we'll do the oxygen. Usually it's better to do the oxygens later. So we could put a two right here. One times two. That'll give us two sodiums. One times two. That'll give us two aluminums. And then two times two. That'll give us four oxygen atoms. We could balance the hydrogens as well, but why don't we leave that to later since it's all by itself. Those are really easy to balance. Let's figure this oxygen out. I think we really need to put a two here in front of the H2O so we get an even number of oxygen atoms. So let's update the oxygens and we'll need to update the hydrogens as well since we put the coefficient of two in front of the water here. So you can see now I have one times two plus one times two. That gives me four oxygen atoms. We've balanced those. Hydrogen, I have one times two, that's two, plus I have two times two, that's four. So now I have six hydrogen atoms. Well, that's pretty easy to fix because we have a two here. We just need to multiply by three. So we put a three in front of the H2, two times three. That gives us six. And then the aluminum, we have one here and two here. Put a two in front of the aluminum. That gives us two, and we're done. This equation's balanced. Really, for this equation here, the key, I think, is we had that odd number of hydrogens. We got that to an even number, and then eventually we had an odd number of oxygens, and we needed to get that to an even number as well. After we did that, things worked out pretty well. This is Dr. V with the balanced equation for Al plus NaOH plus H2O. Thanks for watching.